welcome back to the channel welcome to episode 6 of the you don't have to buy it series and in this episode we are making cake and in specific vanilla confetti cake which is basically a fun cake gather all your children they should watch this episode and learn how to make the funnest cake there is i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's get started so first we are going to set our oven to 176 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit and we have already lined our tins with a pa parchment paper and what we have done is we have gotten two similar tins these are 20 inch tins and they are available at curry for supermarket so you can get them from curry for we got um some butter and greased that tin and then we lined it with the parchment paper and then also greased on top of the parchment paper so that it's easier to remove when the cake is ready and then we also sprinkled some flour and dusted it off to make the cake not stick on the pan so here i had already measured two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and to that i added two and a quarter teaspoon baking powder and three out of four teaspoon salt i then sieved it together into another bowl i then whisked everything together to better mix the ingredients I then got 3 out of 4 cup of unsalted butter at room temperature and creamed it for some time. I then added 1 and 2 thirds cups of granulated sugar and whisked it all together until it's like a pale yellow color and, and until it's all fully incorporated together Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of vanilla extract and then whisking it. And then add three eggs, one at a time, beating between each addition. And remember to scrape the edges to make sure the mixture fully incorporates. Next, we're going to add the flour in three batches, alternating with buttermilk. So the buttermilk is one cup of buttermilk. So you keep alternating with flour and then buttermilk to help combine the mixture evenly and avoid over mixing the butter. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da
Once the mixture is almost combined, I'm going to manually fold in any of the remaining butter or flour to prevent over mixing. I then added my sprinkles, which is my favorite part. I measured one and a third cups of sprinkles and then mixed it together with my butter. Next, divide the butter equally between two pans. Here we tried to measure, but our scale was not working, so we decided to eyeball it. As usual, I hit my pans just to level them a bit and remove any air bubbles and bake for 30 minutes. Yay, my cakes are ready. Now let's work on the buttercream. I added one and a half cups of unsalted butter, room temperature butter, remember, and then creamed it. added a quarter teaspoon of salt and continued to mix I then added five cups of icing sugar however I added a little at a time because you can't add all the five cups it will be too difficult to beat Next, I'm adding two teaspoons of vanilla extract and continuing to beat. And then add a quarter cup of cream or milk, just drizzling a little at a time as I beat the mixture. I am using cream, but you can also choose to use milk. the end I add just a pinch of salt and continue to beat the mixture for some like two minutes ah. Ah, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. 